Hey yo, Mega Bros. Today I'm coming at you with some demo impressions. For one, Stellar Game. That's right, it's Stellar Blade. This is one I've been looking forward to, but even so, it already surpassed my expectations because it's looking like it might not just be the best game of 2024, but so far from the little slice that I played, the defining action game of this entire generation. Any fan of games like Metal Gear Rising, Devil May Cry, Nier Automata, or hell, even the Soul series is not gonna wanna miss out on Stellar Blade. I tend to media blackout many games after their initial trailers. So while I knew this game was looking good, in more ways than one, I wasn't expecting such a high level of polish. And I'm not just talking about the character's assets. No, I'm talking across the board. There's more to Stellar Blade than meets the eye. It's got it all, balls to the walls action, excessive violence, and all the eye candy you could hope for. What I want to talk about the most is the combat. So getting the visuals out of the way, yes, this game is drop dead gorgeous. I'd say that's plain to see, but it's anything but plain. The detail and lighting in the environments are as stunning as, well, you know. But what really tops off the presentation for me is the animations during the combat. The combat is so damn satisfying and there's a whole lot of depth here. Now for me, satisfying combat isn't entirely about how layered the mechanics are. A game like Ghost of Tsushima has a very simplistic rock, paper, scissors style. However, to me, what kept that game's combat appealing throughout the journey was how it presented itself through the stylish animations when you slice and dice through the Mongolian army. It was some of the best in terms of pure style. Stellar Blade, on the other hand, is the best of both worlds. Every move you and your enemies make oozes style, but there's a metric buttload of techniques to play around with as well. It's a healthy mix of hack and slash coupled with the defensive qualities of Dark Souls. And hot damn, it's got some freaking awesome kill animations when you're taking down the bigger baddies. <laughs> And on that note, that's one thing I was not expecting to see in Stellar Blade. Just how gloriously violent the game gets. Right from the opening scene, limbs are flying off left and right, and it's a bloody good time. Can we get this developer to make a Berserk game, please? I want to see some guts. <laughs> So speaking of those combat techniques though, let's get into a few specifics. Stellar Blade features skill trees for you to spend your XP on to unlock more moves or upgrade your defensive capabilities. And they'll let you test them all out in a training room, even the ones you have not yet unlocked. There's loads of unlockable combos, more powerful single strikes, energy projectiles, different types of buffs, and a good number of defensive survival mechanics. And that last bit is something to keep in mind. On the surface, this might appear to be a very offensive game, and in some ways, it can be. But you'll want to be using your defensive techniques as much as possible. The demo introduces a good number of them, in addition to your basic blocking and dodging, and a shield that will negate damage while active. Layered on top of that, you can perform perfect dodges, which will allow you to follow up with a strike, or blink, which will let you avoid a fatal blow and appear behind the enemy to get a piece of that ass. And my favorite, the perfect parries, which as the name implies is a perfectly timed parry 
to knock their ass off balance. And after a few of these, when you do knock them off balance, you get awarded with a prompt to unleash a powerful blow to take off a good chunk of their life. You also build up beta energy when pulling off these techniques or simply hitting the enemy. Then you can cash out by doing some special attacks which become available with enough energy. Once you get into the swing of incorporating all of this into your game plan, it becomes so damn fun and addictive. You'll want to perfect parry everything and lay the freaking smack down on those bosses. And the enemies and bosses, even in this demo, showcase a nice variety in terms of both their designs and the attacks they dish out. Some have shields to deal with, some like this floating starfish though, can turn invisible, which you then have to scan the environment to make reappear. You'll also be using this to locate crates or climbable ledges. And on that note, yes, this game is guilty of doing the whole yellow paint on ledges thing. But to be fair, it doesn't do it on everything. With that said, there does seem to be a fair bit of traversal we'll be doing in Stellar Blade, and in between areas you'll find these camps to upgrade your equipment and take a rest, which will refill your health packs, aka your tumbler, and reset the minor enemies in the area. So in that respect, it's very reminiscent of the bonfire in Dark Souls. There's also supply camps, which are basically the same thing, but these give you more options, like upgrading your weapons, increasing your tumbler count, and upgrading your exospines and drone, as well as fast traveling between the camps. Upon finishing the demo, you'll unlock an extra boss challenge that throws a different boss at you and lets you play around with some techniques that weren't yet unlocked in the main portion as well as see one of the game's many additional outfits. And judging by the little video package that played when you defeated the demo's boss, it does seem like we're gonna get a whole slew of outfits to customize our character with, and that's excellent. And I'm looking forward to possibly seeing a fully featured boss mode unlocked in the full game, because these modes are my jam. Speaking of jams, the music was nothing short of stellar. What I really liked about it though was the dynamic nature of the music that plays when you're moving through the environment, and how it picks up as you go in and out of battle. In addition to that is some very soothing sound effects. Something as simple as the little chimes when you pick up items is oddly satisfying. <laughs> By the way, the music during the boss fights rock. And you should know how important I think that is. A boss fight is a time to put those orchestrated melodies aside and give us a more heavy track to kick some ass to. And hot damn, it does. To wrap it all up, like I said, Stellar Blade seems to have everything going for it. I already was excited for this game, but I was not expecting to love it as much as I now do. The demo, at least. For me personally, in terms of new games, there's not a whole lot going on in 2024, but even if it was a fully loaded year, judging from what I just experienced with Stellar Blade, it would still, with the greatest of ease, be a top contender for the game of the year and one, if not the best action game, this console generation has to offer. In other words, Stellar Blade is looking excellent.